During the Cretaceous period, the world's oceans are teeming with life. This is helped by the widespread shallow inland seas that create vast archipelagos. In the waters of what will one day be Eastern Australia, it is no different. Every creature is in a constant battle for survival. The sea floor here is covered in bivalve shells, and above them swims a multitude of fish species. The calm waters are suddenly alive with panic as a small shark bursts forward and takes a fish in its jaws, sending the rest of them fleeing. The shark consumes his cat, when suddenly out of nowhere, a long serpent-like head and neck shoots from the surface and catches the shark in its jaws, like a snake catching a mouse. The plesiosaur responsible swallows the small shark whole and swivels its body gracefully in the water to return to the surface. But now from the gloom, something else is moving, something large and fast. From beneath the plesiosaur, a gaping mouth of long teeth speeds towards him. The reptile veers away but is not quick enough. The large jaws clamp around his front left flipper and with one effortless motion tears it clean from the plesiosaur's body. The long neck reptile tries to swim away but is unable to coordinate with one less flipper. His attacker circles from below with speed and maneuverability that seem impossible for an animal of such size. The giant set of jaws close in again, this time fully open. The plesiosaur is hit from below. Predator and prey are lifted above the water's surface, a cry of pain echoing above the water before they both come crashing down, the attacker's immense bite force finishing the smaller animal off soon after. The entire hunt taking only a few seconds. This is Kronosaurus. 11 meters long and weighing over 11 tons. She is the largest and most powerful pliosaur ever. She and her kind patrol these rich waters completely unopposed. With powerful swim muscles and long flippers pushing their immense bulk effortlessly through the water. Either used all together for burst of speeds or individually for tight turns, giving them astonishing agility for something so large. This salon of jaws that hold teeth as long as 30 centimeters makes Gronosaurus the most powerful predator on the planet. In all of Earth's history, few species will ever come close to them. The female finishes her meal, leaving a few remains to float to the ocean floor. She then rests at the surface for a while, fills her lungs full of air, and then descends to patrol her territory. Everywhere she swims, all manner of sea life seeks shelter best they can, as her enormous shadow glides over them. They have little to fear, however, very few that she hunts ever get the luxury of seeing her before she attacks. The sun is beginning to set. It is under the pale moonlight that every creature would be right to avoid her. But now, with a belly full of food and lungs full of air, she is perhaps the most at ease animal in these restless seas. Hello everyone and welcome back to the show. Today we will be covering the God Eater, Cronosaurus. Cronosaurus queenslandicus is named after the Greek titan Kronos, who is famous for eating most of the Greek gods, and after the state of Queensland where it was first discovered. It is the largest pliosaur ever discovered, measuring at 10.9 meters and weighing between 11 and 11.5 tons. Originally discovered in 1899, it wasn't named for 25 years, and it lived between 110 million years ago to 90 million years ago. It was the apex predator of its era. Fossil stomach contents show that it fed on turtles and plesiosaurs, though it most likely ate all kinds of fish and other marine reptiles. Like other pliosaurs, it was well adapted for life in the ocean. With a modified pectoral girdle, large flippers, and gastrilla, also known as belly ribs. So despite its size, Kronosaurus was a powerful and fast swimmer that likely both ambushed and pursued its prey. Its teeth were at the largest 30 centimeters long. They were conical shaped and lacked cutting edges, so they were most likely better at holding on to slippery prey than slicing deep into them. So, Kronosaurus. 
an animal that deserves to be named after a titan. Though we don't know a great deal about it, it is nonetheless a very impressive animal and personifies the success of the Pliosaur family. At the Harvard University in Cambridge, you can see a full restoration of one, though it is a bit oversized by today's estimates. It is important to remember that while dinosaurs ruled the land, vast amounts of aquatic reptiles ruled the oceans for millions of years. Today, sea turtles, sea snakes and saltwater crocodiles are the only ocean-dwelling reptiles. Sometimes for a species, size can be a hindrance, as you need lots of resources. This was not a problem for massive ocean reptiles like Kronosaurus as they lived in a time where the oceans were rich with life, from the smallest plankton to all of the most complicated of fish and reptiles, meaning that they could sustain their massive size, and since Kronosaurus lived for around 15 million years, it enjoyed a lot of success. But what do you think of Kronosaurus? Do you prefer an ocean of giant predators like in the Cretaceous period, or a modern world with giant filter feeders? What lesser known species would you like me to cover in a future episode? Until next time, remember to stay safe in the water.